Hey, it's been a while since my last video, I know. It's around Chinese New Year, like, well, I know I am a lazy blogger, so that's why my readers are always... But then I still insist to open up a new blog. Wish that I can achieve my dream. Uh, it's called Mia meow.com why it's meow um, I'm gonna explain it in my first blog post so if you're interested just go and read it and just a quick update mm. don't scold me for not yapting tight if you don't know what it means just google it up google translate it <laughs> um, the reason why I didn't have a video or a blog for so long because I couldn't find a topic 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 that excites me and I think it will excite my readers as well. But um even though that I am afraid of losing my readers that are just small some small amount of them but I still appreciate them. Thank you. Um so today it's different. I have something that excites me and I hope that it will excite you as well. Um, if you click in here because of the title above so you know what I'm going to talk about and look at here. So since last year I think this ombre did I pronounce it right? Ombre hair and deep dial deep dial hair is <laughs> such a huge statement in the fashion world but then I think a lot of people like me that it's not a model, it's not an actress, not, it's not a freelancer or has a job that don't allow you that to have crazy hair color uh, and then this hair tracking thing take the benefits of it and become a trend and since like few months ago uh, it goes flooding all over my Facebook feed, news feed that this online shop is selling a certain kind of hair chalking thing. It's called soft pastel or pastel. I have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> pastel, um, which excites me so much that I really, really want to buy it. I really asked for the price and the price is okay, it's totally fine for me, it's not expensive at all. But then I still did a quick research. I know it, this hair chalking thing is originally uh, originated from these people somewhere find out that they can color their hair by this pastel that are used for artists for drawing. And then this online shop started selling this product. I thought it was designed for hair color. So that's why the price is okay for me. Seriously okay. Then I find out that it's not. It's just soft pastel towel, soft pastel for artists for drawings. You can find it in the local bookstores and or stationery store. So yeah, like I can buy it from a local bookstore, right? Didn't have to order it online or get it imported from somewhere. It's so unfair for Malaysian because when you click on YouTube and or you search for the fashionista or famous blogger that blog about this hair chalking, they won't talk about it where they got it. They just say, hey, this is some pastel. I just got it from a local store. And I always thought it was from a hair saloon. <laughs> And this product is not available in Malaysia. I couldn't find it anywhere. Luckily, I did the research. It's just pastel for artists for drawing. And absolutely, we have artists in Malaysia that need pastel, right? So I can find it in the local bookstore as well. Uh, no offense to any of the online shops that I don't mean to destroy your business. I understand that the brand that you are importing is not available in Malaysia and is the most famous brand uh, of pastel.
that's how that I use for hair color overseas. So if you guys are want to try that brand, which you know, of course it has a reason to be that famous, um, and if you guys are okay with the price and stuff, just buy it from the online shops. But if you don't and you just want to have fun a little and you don't mind the quality and you don't have a really budget for it, just buy it from a local bookstore. And uh, this is what I got from a local famous bookstore. Soft as well. Um, any brand is okay for me, I think. This is around 20 ringgit only. And it has 32 colors in it. Uh, they have different brands and then comes with different sizes. Some they are in like the 12 or 24 and they have a longer length. They're like a stick, longer stick. This I choose 32 in a shorter but they have more colors in a cheaper price. Um, so it suits for me because I don't think I would use it for that long. I need that long and my hair wasn't that long. So this is the color I got. Yeah. Beautiful color but uh, just a small flaws that they don't have pink. Seriously. Mm. It was all wrapped up so I couldn't check it when I wanted to buy it. Kind of frustrated when I opened it I couldn't find pink. But I thought this color would came out pink and I tried it last night. It wasn't it's like a very bright purple. But all the colors are amazing and big. So I hope you love this all other colors are great. So you may consider this brand this brand as well. If you have short hair and you don't really gonna use it for a frequent time or a long time, just need shot. If you purchase another brand it will be like this long. And maybe they have different colors or so you just depends on you. This is what I got. And so today I'm going to show you how to hair chuck. Okay, so first what you need are test out, of course, soft one. Oh, I forgot to explain it. Remember it must be soft pastel, not oil or chalk. Chalk is too colory for me. And oil, uh, I found it on the internet, they say it will damage your hair and it will get really really messy and greasy so you don't want it so get soft soft chalk pastel of soft pastel it'll be fine and then comb if you can see it it's all <laughs> blue now and then a curler or a straightener flattener if you have it and the hair dryer, my tiny little hair dryer. And water. To wet your hair and also wet, wet the pastel. I'm not sure whether to talk about this because all the overseas fashionistas are talk about it. And then I thought it's about blonde hair. I thought I don't want to talk about it, but then maybe some of you dye your hair in, in really light color, so you might need to take note. Uh, if you have light color, don't wet your hair and don't wet the pastel, just chalk it dry because it will stain your hair quite much. And if you have dark hair, just follow me, like the following steps. So let's get started. Okay, I will start with here just take a small amount of hair and wet it you can use that you know spray thing but I don't have it so I just wet it uh, by my hair uh, by my hair by my hand <laughs> by my fingers uh, I like 
it very red. I don't know whether it's because of my brand of pastel. It only stain when it got very very red. Mm. So I'll have this color of blue. Oh, before that. Maybe if you want your uh, color to stand out more, you chalk it with the fir uh, with the white chalk first. It's just like highlighting your eye before you draw your eyeshadow on it. So you just dip it in. Dip it in. It's all wet. And then you just go in one direction, don't go up and down, you will get red. Let's go in one direction. I don't like the white too much. So it just, it depends on you how you're gonna apply it. Let's go like this. And then deep the blue one, the color that you want. And the same. Oh, remember to twist your hair because this will make the pigment stain even more. Twist it after you wet it. Just as easy like this. Let's go in one direction. One direction. See ya. <laughs> okay, and then uh, if you are patient enough, you just let it uh, dry naturally. But I'm not a patient one, so I'll just blow dry it. But be careful, don't be. Uh, control the temperature and the speed. So after it's dry, you need a comb. The comb, and you just brush away the extra powder, but don't brush it too much. If not, it will all fade out, and you need to do, uh, you need to do it all over again. And now it's just a small amount of hair, so I will do it all to let you see the result. Okay, here we are. Look at my hair. Uh, if you don't want to stain your hand, you can wash it away quite easily, but if you still don't want to stain your hair, your hand, <laughs> uh, just use a glove to protect the hand. And then so uh, I have already blown dry it, blow dry it. So now you just need a color. The heat will uh, set color. Even okay, more. So I curl it a little because <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, it will definitely stain your color or uh, the straightener. So just wipe it off after you finish. And so this is the result. You can play with the colors, you can have two tones or whatever. And it will be very nice if you have long hair because I did it on my niece last night and she has super long hair and I I get dull her hair in rate one little amount of hair it's super nice and I wish I have long hair now uh, so and then I really wish my hair grew longer I think this is not the first time you hear me complaining I would blog about it. Uh, I didn't like, regret it. I cut that shot, but now it's really annoying 
awkwardly male length hair. So I hope you guys like it and try it as well. It's a very budget way to have fun with your hair. So that's it. Um, give me a like please. Visit my blog please and promote me please. Thank you. <laughs> hey, ciao. Okay, so I left out something. Uh, quick reminder, do not use any wax or oil. It will make it very messy. Um, you can use spray to set the color uh, set the color instead of using you know the color or the flattener. And also as well it will stain your clothes. So remember to wear the clothes that are uh, easily washable or just put up a cape like <laughs> those they use in the salon wear gloves if you are mm, you don't want to get your hands dirty so that's it <laughs>